How's it going everybody? Welcome to the Scarecrow channel. Today I would like to talk about one particular Google service that a lot of us Canadians want but cannot get and that is the Google Play Music. So what this is is basically like iTunes except for Google. You can download music, you can actually upload all your library to this service as well. So if you have up to 20,000 songs you, on your computer you can actually upload all of them for free and then stream them down basically on your Android smartphone, on your Android tablet, on your PC computer you can actually stream them down and you know categorize them in albums all that kind of good stuff and so it basically backs them up for you as well so the only problem is that if you live in Canada like I do um, the hat it, uh, it is not available for us so how do we circumvent that or how do we bypass that security and get the service for us? So there's a couple of different ways that we can actually do this. The probably easiest would be if you have a Google Wallet account already, um, which you probably do if you buy anything on the App Store. Here's something that you could try. So next time you're out of the country in, in, in the States, so if you're visiting or, or you're there for work or whatever, you're at a hotel um, and it has internet, you're in the United States. So all you have to do is log into music.google.com um, or just Google it and it'll take you straight to the Google Play Music uh, website. So you'll have to lo of course log on with your Gmail account which you probably already have and um, and then right away once you log into the website it'll ask you to verify that you are in the United States and that you live there so if you have your Google Wallet account that's what it's gonna be checking against the Google Wallet account has your credit card on it and it probably has your address for your home right in Canada so the only thing you have to do before you do any of this is log on to your Google Wallet and change the address so change it from Canada to United States and then the street address all of that kind of postal code all of that change it to the hotel you're staying at so it'll have a valid zip code valid street and number all of that kind of good stuff so um, and Google Wallet will allow you to do that so you just change it on there you hit save and it's stored in there. Go to your Google Music and verify. Uh, it'll verify that you're from United from from the states uh, by opening up your Google Wallet account. So you, all you have to do is just open it up, and then it'll be if you have that account there, it'll just just pick that same uh, Google Wallet credit card with the United States address in it already. Just hit next, 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 and that's it. That's all you have to do. You hit finish and your basically your Google Play Music will now be activated. So you can upload some music from if you have on your laptop you can upload it right there and then or wait till you come back home to Canada and you can actually log in normally with your uh, Google go to the same website uh, music.google.com and log in with your Google, same Google account, and voila, the account will now be open for us Canadian. This works. Um, I've tried it on two accounts now, and it works flawlessly. The other way you can do it is a little bit more techy. Um, you need you need to kind of know what you're doing. But the other thing you could do is uh, you could do it from home. Um, you still have to change the address and everything on your Google Wallet and you can just search a hotel or whatever um, or even one of the airports but you have to uh, have a proxy on your on your desktop machine so on your the computer that you're going to be logging in with you got to pretend that you're in the United States so if you have a proxy set up to spoof your IP and your DNS to say that hey I'm from I'm in the United States, that'll work just as well. But like I said, it's a little bit more work, it's a little bit more techy, and finding a good proxy server online 
uh, especially for free is a bit challenging so try it the first way if, I mean some of us go down to the States once in a little while or if you have any relatives in there um, you know get them to, to do it for you or remote desktop into their computer and do it that way so there's different ways of doing it so but I found this actually works um, for for this service so um, and I, I'm not going to show you this on a computer um, just because I already done it and uh, I mean it's just a bunch of clicking it's it's pretty straightforward but what I can show you is that it is working for me Google Play and I've got some ACDC stuff uploaded and it works for me so if I click on ACDC here um, stuff comes up and I can actually play it so, um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, explains uh, how to do that. And uh, give it a try and see what you think. And uh, let me know if it works for you. It's pretty straightforward. Nothing really to it. Um, you know, it just it just takes a couple of steps to do it, but it works. And and now you can have the service. So. Uh, if you try it, leave me a comment down below. I would like to know how, um, if there's maybe a third way that you, you've thought of doing, uh, let me know down below. And uh, if you have any other comments or questions, um, uh, you know, you can post them down below as well. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button. I try to post uh, at least once a week. Uh, something informational so check out my other videos if you hit the subscribe button you'll get a vi you'll get a message that I've uploaded something uh, as soon as it comes out all right well uh, I do appreciate your time I believe this is it for mine have a good one bye